But daddy is a state of mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm your daddy. Let's go. Get up on y'all. Go learn today. Daddy, chill. Call me daddy. Well, you know, my whole thing here is the industry is a joke as, as to where it is. You yeah, that's I mean? a great that's a great way to start, start this shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, you wheeled me in, baby. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I heard you guys talking about it and I agree. Yeah. Yeah, no, I and for those of you out there, we uh we did a post about what was it about? You you did a reel mm-hmm. and and you guys made a comment on it saying about it was about shipping, I think. Yeah, I want right. to say it took too long to ship. Yeah. It took too long to ship. Yeah. And you guys made a comment saying how, you know, we will fix this. And it piqued our interest, especially him. He sent it to yeah. me right away and he was like, we got to have this guy on the pod, whatever yeah. they're doing. We don't know. And I told you before yeah. this, I didn't even do any research about you guys. You guys right. just said that you guys are working towards things to fix the the issues in the hobby. And and, that, and I do want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but but talk about uh, you are Eugene and you guys, you guys, you created the hold app or it, yeah, it's not out so, yet, right? Right. It's not out. It's going to be out in about five months because we still have kind of the programming to do on our, on our end. Uh, then we're going to do a little beta testing, but this all started because we were, you know, breaking both my partner and I, we were always breaking uh, on apps and whatever. And it was a joke. Like we got tired of it. We wanted to, we wanted more options. We wanted to interact in some way. Uh, we wanted to see our shipping. We wanted to. I want to see my cards online. I don't. I, don't, I want to see what I'm about to get. I want to. I want everything to instantly be put into my account. Like there's none of this. This is. This is all right. I, I physically open these cards, and then I ship them out to like somebody who had that team. The end. Now, I can chat now, at my interaction level. You know what I mean? Like what is that? Now, when you say you were breaking, you, you and your partner were were buying into breaks, not you were like buying breaking, into breaks, yeah, yeah, not breaking yourself, yeah. Correct, correct. Um, as a breaker myself, yeah, I, 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 I will be the first to say that breakers are a big part of the issue. What's going on in right. the hobby, yeah. Yeah. and it's it it's a it's a it's an accumulative issue. Um, I think I don't think breakers are the 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 majority of the problem i just think that it's it's building upon on issue and it's 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 a very tough it's a sticky subject right now because i don't think a lot of people want to talk about it what i'm willing to talk yeah yeah, go ahead why is it that when i go on on whatnot or or a loop or any of these or you know somebody's instagram why do i have to look at sticky sticky notes why do i have to have physical spinning wheels like, why is this not digital? Yeah. Have you been why? on Fanatics Live yet? I, 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 we checked it out a little bit. Yeah. And, so, another we're, thing, Fanatics, yeah. yeah good. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, we, we, we break on Fanatics Live. Fanatics okay. is, has, they have been taking pieces of other platforms to try to make it better. They do have the digital right. wheel. They do have every, like, it is very user friendly for the breakers because right. I, listen, I, I came from Instagram and, uh, it's a pain in the ass because I do have to sit there and write on a fucking notepad and I got to chase right. down payments and I got to go, Hey, where did this guy set his payment? Races to figure yeah. out random events. Yeah. <laughs> the ran, random what, what org. Yeah. Are we living in guys? You yeah, know exactly. I mean? Yeah. And, and so. talk about, talk about the hold app. I want people to know because I, I'm trying to use this platform and, and the podcast to put out, you know, up and coming ideas, new things and, and stuff that's going to help, improve the 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 issues that we are currently dealing with because if you guys don't know out there the hobby is in the fucking tank and if anybody tells you that they're positive about the hobby they're fucking lying to you because they're sitting on a lot of cards that they don't want the tank everything is going down everything so go ahead i mean economy won't get better Mm -hmm. so people won't have extra money so in other words you you really need to make this a activity that is that the breakers themselves or the breaking apps make fun for everybody this has to be you know oh friday night at eight o'clock i have to be there to to be part of this but the inter- interactivity is what hey guys i'm in chat with you you know th- that's it like what else am i supposed to do as the person who is watching the break as oh, i get to watch see if hopefully my card is opened that's it mm-hmm. and what let's talk about the roi what do you 90% loss on, on opening a box? What, what is that? 
Yeah, sometimes you. Know I mean? even, I... And and honestly, you know, and as a breaker, you're sitting there, you you feel bad for for guys who are buying into you, who believe in you, and stuff like that, and they're you know they like how you entertain them, but they feel kind of shitty that they just lost money. Well, I as a breaker too, I feel like a piece of shit because that's what I'm I mean, saying. Like yeah. you have some kind of guilt inside of you. Oh, that it's you a lot, or something, right? And that shouldn't be that way. So the question is, how do we find value? Yeah. Why, how do I replace the ninety percent? Nobody's answering that. Yeah. I it, answered it. I mean, our app answers this. I mean, I would love to tell you guys everything about it, mm -hmm. but I can't for another about five months. Uh, okay. But it really, if you have a question or or you have some, you know, pe pet peeve about an issue that's a, that is happening, we are, we have considered it and it's for two years we've developed this. Now, did you guys start developing this because of the issues you started seeing and then have you guys kind of seen the, I mean, obviously there are good sides of, of whatnot and, and loop and there's, there's yeah. things that are, they're doing good. So obviously of you're course, taking the good stuff. Yeah. But you know what? That's because of the appetite of the fanatics, you know, that are out there who want to collect sports memorabilia, sports cards. It's not because they did such a great job. It's because yeah. this is fun for us all. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we course. collect the guys we love. We love our sports. Like America really loves sports. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and and so and the other thing is what we've what we've done is you know the chat interaction right that's not enough for us so what we did was honestly like the, what i can easily say and what i can talk about is we've gamified breaking we've turned it into a video game that's what we were that's the whole the whole premise behind what we're doing okay and that's no more breakers making you know breakers won't be like oh you know whoa you got a banger here but it's like a one dollar card yeah. You know, to make the person feel better. There's going to be so much that the person is immersed with that he breakers don't have to make excuses for what they opened. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So and that's 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 awesome because yeah. I, I do like the guilt is fucking real. And on my yeah. one of my best friends in the hobby, uh he's he's got a lot of money and he ripped an NT case mm. and his fucking FOTL card, the, the FOTL quarterback, he it was Matt Corral. And <laughs> that card probably doesn't even do 300 bucks. You know, right. the guy's not even on a team right now. Yeah. And so, and I'm sitting there going, and I know the money doesn't matter. I know the money's not sure, a big deal sure. for him, but I'm still deep inside. I'm like, fuck man, this yeah. is so brutal. And I sold all of his cards and barely got a thousand dollars back for, for a $21,000 case. And you're trying to think, well, at least the weather is good outside. At least your team <laughs> is winning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have to, you feel bad no matter what. I still got a pulse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How about how many countries are there that want want to be involved in American sports? I mean, they they are offered stickers at best from Panini in their area. Like I, I was watching a break the other day and I see this kid from Greece. He's like, oh, you know, these cards are so cool. We only get some kind of like Panini stickers every year. Yeah, I mean, they could probably look into finding somebody on whatnot and whatever but nobody's actually catering to greece yeah nobody's catered. these are the, you know it, okay so we're in a bit of a lull with the industry it, you know how you reverse it you go to more markets yeah they're more hungry for this stuff than americans are like for for you know nfl quarterbacks or or uh bryce harpers or you know like that's what i they, mean that's what they want to be part of it too yeah, the F one, yeah. the F one market, the F1, soccer market. Yeah, yeah. soccer. You know that in the end, it is the biggest sport in the world. It is, and they have stickers. Yeah, they the, the other countries laugh at us with our soccer. Our soccer. Yeah, sure. sure. Well, of course, of <laughs> yeah. Course. Well, but the other I, countries don't have you know. NFL yeah, NFL yeah, NFL exactly. Well, I know we're gonna have our first German uh, German games here in the NFL in a couple weeks. Oh, that's so right. Yeah. Okay. They're they're having yeah. There's back to back weeks where they'll be in they'll be in they'll be having games in German Germany. So U UK is nuts for NFL. Yeah, nuts for NFL. I I wouldn't be surprised if we have an NFL team in the UK yeah. within the next five years. Okay, but why is UK like? Why is there one show that everybody goes to a year in the UK? That's there's one baseball or soccer card show. Why? Why is why is that not an industry explored? Yeah. Why is what not really only catering to America and Canada at, at best? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like these yeah, are there's... this is how you make more money for breakers, right? So yeah, for everybody, if, for if, everybody, if all and, markets and, are open. Yeah, right. And you can sustain the industry so you can bring it all up, 
And then also, you know, a lot of the marketing is kind of, even fanatics, uh, a lot of the marketing is the people who are already in the industry. Yeah, we all know each other. We go to the national, we see the same exact characters. You know what I mean? But uh, it's it's so big, but so small because you right. think it's so big. You're like, oh, it's 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 all over the world. And then you go to the national and go like, I know everybody here. Right. I right. know what they have and what they're selling and yep. who they have or who they're chasing. Yep. So um, I, I, I wanted to have you guys on because anything new and anything that somebody can can bring in the raise the enthusiasm of the hobby we fucking need right now because right. the enthusiasm is at an all time low and I see it on our lives. I see it on other people's lives. I see it on the big, these big breakers who don't even rip cards anymore. They're just opening repacks. They just repack, repack, repack. I'm like repack, helmets, you know, like yeah, helmets, jerseys. jerseys. It, it's just getting out of control. And like you said, the ROI, it's, it's one of my, my fucking points here when we run our, our, when we're going to record our main podcast, is ROI on these on these on these on cases, not just the boxes on cases. When you're talking about ripping a thirty five hundred dollar case and you're getting the best card is a hundred dollar card out of there, it's 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 insanity. Yeah. So, and you guys um, are right about you know you're complaining and being honest about how it is. Yeah, yeah. You know it's it's not it's not pretty to have to complain about this and this and this and this, but it's it's amazing to me. That it's twenty twenty three. What's going on? Where where's AI to identify the card as soon as it gets opened from the pack? I, I don't know. Like, why isn't it automatically assigned to the person? There's so many things that we're working yeah. on that that our app is going to do. I can't totally talk about it because honestly, like the I think that this is what fanatics should where fanatics should have been. Fanatics instead kind of copied the flea market whatnot thing, you know. Well, uh, I'm I'm glad you said that because I um I'm I'm interested in how it's gonna come out and what you guys are gonna do. And I, I'd love to have you on when it drops Please, and yeah. you can, and then you can lay it all out on the table and, and who knows fanatics might come to you and say, Hey, let's, you that's know, the plan. yeah, I yeah. Mean, that's yeah. The plan. <laughs> bring out that paycheck, right? <laughs> hey, listen, they, they buy out everybody, right? Like they want yeah. to be Amazon of sports. Yeah. And if it's but... something that, if it's something that makes sense, obviously they're going to look into it because they're, yep. they're really the thing with fanatics and I'll, I'll end on this with a lot of people slam them. But I, I've worked with some of them very closely, and they are very in tune with what's going on, yeah. and they're they're taking in every single thing that people are saying. Like when they're telling, they call me and say, "What do you think about this?" And I'm yeah. honest. I'm like, "This product sucks, man. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing?" Yeah. And they're like, "Okay, we're we're trying." And I've been told that they're still trying to filter out some of the tops guys who are kind of like lingering around, and they're trying to get all that tied tied down. Yeah. So, but. I'd like to have you back on. I think it's interesting um, just from the, a few things that you've said and kind of little teasers you've given us, the little fucking breadcrumbs. But <laughs> I, wish um, I, could do, I wish I could say more. I just yeah. really feel like, you know, it, a lot of the concepts would just be copied. And we're no, and for sure. Are, and um, let, let's have you back on when you guys drop it. And, and you can, you know, you'll. You'll you'll come on here and you can lay out and maybe maybe you can just fly out here and you could be in the studio because the studio okay. is fun. So that the looks fun. You get yeah, serious. You got, you got a seat a for you right over here. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a seat right here for you. So okay. well, that's, that's it. I'm in. All right, cool. I appreciate you, Gene. And right. uh we'll uh, we'll you. have you back on. Thank you so much. Have guys. a good one. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.